My name is Isa Mosley, raised up an old time by my mother. My old master and mistress raised. My master was named Louis Mosley. My mistress was named Blanche Mosley. Well, are you ready for me to talk? Yeah, that's fine. And, uh, and, uh, after my mother was a housewoman, and uh, this after she died, my father was field hanging, though, and white folk kept me around the house to throw cool water. House boy like, and uh, they had two weavers weaving, had two looms running every day. Well, you know, I'd go out in the quarter to play with them other uh, children. And the father hurt one, and he caught me, they would wear me out. Well, the, the white folk told me, when they get at me, make it to the yard. And sometimes I'd go out there and get the plane, and one would hit me, I'd get a break. Mail it to him, to the yard I made. Don't nothing say it like that, yeah. And, uh, I went all that way, and uh, and then again, now uh, my master was named Lewis. You got that, and my miss had a master name, a young master named Lige Mosley. He was a doctor. Beth Mosley, he was a farmer. Frank Mosley, he was a farmer. Joe Mosley, he was a farmer. Well, I had two misses, Betty Mosley. And May Jane Mosley, them was my mistress. And then, as I went on to tell you about, the May lasses way back then, and uh, they had no iron mill like got the made wood, they had carpenters made wooden mill. And they grind that lasses, and they had a vap be killed to make it in, you know, I had a point to expect to kill us on. And when that lasses was made, they had poplar trolls to pull that lasses in. No barrels at all. And I never see the barrel long then, nothing but trolls. And when they get the lasses made, they had planks to cover them trolls. Oh, for cover. Well, you told me something about the way they made soap in the old days. Yes, sir. I can explain that. Now, I was large enough to throw the water to the soap mix and put on the ash hopper. They had a bad, uh, had a bad, uh, had a bad, uh. You ready? Yeah. You're talking about the soap mix, Yeah? You're talking about the soap. The soap mix. Now, when I was boy that used to make soap. Well, I was large enough to tote water to the soap maker to put on ash hopper. Now, they didn't have no bad, they had molds, you know, and uh, their molds coming that way, you know, that way, molds are fast. Well, on each end, they lay some crossway to hold the ashes. And then I'd tote water and put on that la ash hopper for the soap maker. I did make soap for the whole plantation, and uh, make it by two or three bars. And long then came, I ain't seed no, no bar soap. The mother had some, but I never seed none. And uh, they uh, had uh, something dug in the ground, a hole, deep hole, and rolled up on each side of the plank. Well, this is about three foot deep, I reckon, and I can come out and about eight or ten foot long. Well, they tan leather. They lay a, lay a bark down in that hole, and then they lay, uh, lay a hide over that bark. And then they would lay a, another lay a bark, and another lay a hide, till they got it like they want. And then they'd fool that thing up with water. But now, before they tan that, that level, they had a place to put it in to lay a while and get the house. 
And when he got on that level, it just like any tan level. And they had a man that would make shoes for all of us. Now we was children, good size children going about. That shoemaker made shoes for we children. And the old folk too. We had mighty good white folk. The mom members, before I could remember, you know, mighty good. Mighty good. You know, they must have been good after the country surrendered. Didn't none move, more move there after surrender. More moved to own the place. What happened after surrender? Sir? What happened after surrender? What happened? Yeah. Well, now, they tell me to the uh, year for the folk know that uh, they was free. And when they found out they was free, they worked on share, they tell me. Worked on share. Didn't rent no land. They worked on share. Now, you know, I was a boy, I'm going to explain it the best of my understanding. They say the weight gone shield. I think it said to, what, the fourth or third, I think. He got the third, I think, he said, what they made after surrender. How many children do you have? Me? Yeah. Ain't got, didn't have but one, he died. None but one, he died. Now, we were living 20 miles this side of Selma in Dallas. That's why I was voiced. I won't voice down here. No, I won't voice down here. How old were you when you came into G's Bend? How old I was? 17 years old. 17 years old. And I come into Bend there. A man here named... John Petty was here when I come, but the first owner of this place, I don't know nothing about it, but I hear the older people, was Mark Petty. Mm -hmm. Not uh, uh, Charles G. was the first owner. Well, that was Petty, old man Mark's brother-in-law, tell me. Well, after old man G, Mark took place, Mark Petty. And then when I come here, they say his son, John, had prayed. I don't know about old man Mark and Charles G. Well, old man and John Pedro, he was, he was a good man. He stayed here. I stayed here with him. Then he died. He'd been dead 40 some odd years. And uh, another thing about it. Now, he had 10 wig hands and uh, four plowers and, and six whole hands. Never had a ride over him the whole time. Now he'd get up soon of a morning and ride round. Now, uh, now what? We'd be, if the sun be a half hour high before you left home, he'd be in the field. That he would. And you know he'd make good crops? Now he'd go soon of a morning, about 8 o'clock. He'd done been all around to his renters and to his wig hand and making it out to the house. And late in the evening, he'd go back again. Now, he had a colored man for his foreman for the whole hand, and a colored man here to the flowers. And that's what they said. Now, now, he'd make plenty of corn with them ten hands and forty and fifty bales of cotton. And he what? had them right over. What's the, the government doing for you now? Sir? What is the government doing for you now? For me? Yeah. It gives me clothes, something to gives me five dollars a month. They treat me all right. I don't find a better for that. Yeah, I got I don't have to buy no clothes at all. Mm -hmm. 